No one answers questions or satisfies our curiosity better than Google, but there might have also been times when you weren't up for it. Here are some answers to 10 such interesting things you may have been too lazy to Google. 10. Why do we look attractive in the mirror, but ugly in photos? This is because our brain is used to seeing a flipped image of a three-dimensional version of our face when we look in the mirror. But when you take a photo, you see yourself as others would and as a two-dimensional image which the brain is not familiar with. Also, cameras highlight different aspects of your face depending on their focal length, the lighting, the angle, and your pose. So. Photos from a camera with the same focal length as your eyes would give you a better result. 9. Why do we remember faces, but not names? There is a region in our brain called the fusiform face area, which is specifically designed to recognize faces. In addition to that, we store information associated with a person like attractiveness, mood, age, and other such impressions which we have more time to observe. Names, on the other hand, are only one word, and you mostly only get to hear them once when the person introduces themselves. They are also stored in a completely different part of the brain, and sometimes associating a face with a name eludes the brain. 8. Why do paper cuts hurt so much? Fingertips are packed with nerve endings that make them especially sensitive to pain. Paper cuts are shallow wounds that don't bleed enough to activate the body's defense mechanisms such as blood clotting and scabbing. Besides, on a microscopic level, paper has jagged edges that cut like a saw blade, damaging more cells than a smooth cut from a knife would. 7. Why do we have goosebumps? Goosebumps are caused by a phenomenon called piloerection which provided our much hairier primate ancestors with protection from the cold. When the hair rises, it traps the body's heat and acts as a much-needed insulation in cold temperatures. The puffed-up hair also is to help us face threats, like in cats or other hairy mammals, by appearing to be bigger and scarier. Though we have lost the fur, we are still left with goosebumps. 6. Why don't airplanes have parachutes for passengers? There are no parachutes on passenger planes for the simple reason that while skydivers get extensive training and have the essential decision-making knowledge required at critical moments, most airline passengers do not. Besides, skydiving occurs at altitudes of 10,000 to 13,000 feet, with the plane traveling between 80 and 110 miles per hour but commercial planes reach up to 39,000 feet or higher and travel at 600 miles per hour, making it a very dangerous jump even with a parachute. Even if parachutes were carried during every flight, keeping the hundreds of passengers calm during an emergency while organizing the jumps would be a big challenge. 5. What are those white bumpy strips on the highway? Those strips are called rumble strips, or alert strips, and were first implemented in 1952 on the Garden State Parkway in New Jersey. When a vehicle passes over them, the strips vibrate the vehicle, which in turn creates an audible rumbling sound. They are installed as part of road safety measures along the road to alert tired or inattentive drivers if they are veering out of their lane, as well as across the road to warn the drivers to look ahead and stop or slow down. 4. Why are snorkels so short instead of extra long? Being heavier than other gases in the air, the carbon dioxide you exhale tends to stay in the snorkel tube. It's the force of air coming from your lungs when you exhale that pushes it out of that tube. If the snorkel is longer than 16 inches, it creates a dead airspace filled with carbon dioxide that your lungs won't be able to push out. So, the longer the snorkel, the harder it is to breathe. 3. Why do the F and J keys on the keyboards have bumps on them? The bumps help your two index fingers locate the F and J keys without the need to look down to help you place your fingers in the optimal typing position while typing. Since on a QWERTY keyboard, these keys are positioned in the center, you can automatically remember where the rest of the keys are if you are used to typing. Two. 
Why do mosquitoes bite some people more than others? For one, mosquitoes rely on carbon dioxide to locate the ideal host. Exhaled carbon dioxide lingers around us for some time, and mosquitoes use that as beacons as well as the subtle chemical traces the microbes leave on our skin. At close quarters, mosquitoes can also select a prey based on skin color, temperature, and humidity. Wearing darker clothes outdoors, for example, makes you more visible against the horizon. 1. Why do escalators have brushes on their sides? No, they are not there to clean your shoes. The bristles, also called escalator brushes, are there for your safety. They discourage people from standing too close to the side edge, beyond which is a small gap called a skirt, into which clothes, sometimes even toes, could get entrapped. The bristles provide a sensory warning, letting people know when they get too close to the gap to help prevent any possible injuries or escalator breakdowns. Do these help answer the questions of your curious mind? Let us know in the comments!